Hello everyone. Welcome to day 10, where the mantra is to read poetry, or if you do not currently do so, start reading poetry. Um, I'm intrigued by the importance of poetry. As I read today, this essay by Wendell Berry in this collection entitled, What Are People For?, and the essay is entitled The Responsibility of the Poet. And I'll read just a little bit to you that speaks to the power of poetry and why we should read poems, for example. A poem has the power to remind poet and reader alike of things they have read and heard. The art, reading poetry, so private in execution, is also communal and filial. It can only exist as a common ground between the poet and other poets and other people living and dead. Any poem worth the name is the product of a convocation. And just think of it, a convocation as something we have oftentimes at the start of a school year, for example, um, which is the calling of people together. It, ex it exists, the poem, literally by recalling past voices into presence. A poem, too, may remind poet and reader alike of what is remembered or ought to be remembered, as in elegies, poems of history, love poems, celebrations of nature, poems of praise or worship, or poems as prayers. One of the functions of the music or formality of poetry is to make memorable. Further, he says, a poem reminds us of the formal integrity of other works, creatures, and structures of the world. A poem reminds us of the spiritual elation that we call inspiration or gift. This this past year, two oh two years ago now, I did a study on uh, Octavio Paz's writing about poetry and the importance of poetry, and he actually talked about how <clears throat> the poets go to the other shore, where the other shore is the transcendent, <clears throat> and bring back a word. So this very um, inspirational activity of writing poet poetry, we partake in as we also read poetry and try to understand that which the poet says. In this way, I think that poetry offers us a glimpse beyond ourselves. It's aspirational and inspirational. And so today, on my cardio, I'm going to be reading some poetry by uh, John O'Donohue <clears throat> to sort of set the stage for hearing a new voice. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.